This video is sponsored by My Nice Tie. Get your nice tie at MyNiceTie.com. Ties starting at $5.99 and you'll get your tie for free if you choose to pay with trial pay. That's right, free if you choose to pay with trial pay. Hi, my name is Ben and I'm going to show you how to tie a tie. We're going to tie a double Windsor knot and it's a very popular knot because it is symmetrical. Okay, so the first step is just take your collar up and you put the tie around your neck. I keep the long end in my right hand because I'm right handed and the short end in my left hand. And the first step is to cross them over. So cross them over like that and it's every tie is different but you want about a half a foot on the short end and you can adjust depending on the size of your neck and, and everything else. One rule of thumb is that you'll see on, on most ties that they've been, they have a little line where the manufacturer sewed it and so you just line it up right there with that line and you switch hands. Remember I had it, I had the long end in my right hand, well I cross it over and I switch hands like so and then I take this end, the long end, and I stick it up and behind through this little hole that I have. So behind and up through the little hole and then pull it all the way through that little hole and then down. Now I don't switch hands so I keep it on the same side. Remember before this tie was just, the tie was just coming down straight but I went up through and then and now I'm at this point this time we put it around back we don't go through like we did last time we put it around back and then switch hands right here and put it up through the front of that hole that we just put it through got that and if you've done it correctly what you'll have is the inside of your knot and at this point you can kind of shape it to the shape you want. It's kind of a triangle right there. Shape it to the shape you want and and uh, if you've done it correctly that's about what it should look like right there. Now the last step is basically putting a cover on this inside of your knot. So you push this around now you can you push it around all the way so you kind of wrap that inside knot and then push this up through the, the hole between your neck and the tie one more time. Now once we pull this through we're going to stick it down this little tunnel that we've created. See when we go around back we've essentially created a little tunnel that the tie can be pushed through. So you push it up, pull it through, and then you open up this little tunnel that you've created and pull the tie down through keep the back the small end and the big end and you just kind of tighten it and pull it like so and you can shape your knot however you want and you just kind of play with it until you get the tie exactly how you want it tighten it up to your neck pull your collar down and voila. Now, this tie is actually going to be a little bit short when I when I when I line it up like I did. So, if I were to tie this tie again, which I, I'm not going to want to walk around with the short tie, what I'm going to do is just untie it. But this time, I'm going to leave even less. I'm not going to have this line right on the tie. I'm going to actually have it farther down so I have less area on that side. See? So the, the longer I make this end, the longer the long end will be in the end. And so you just kind of, you need to play with it until you get it right. I'll do it again. See if we can't get this right.
We hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, send us an email at mynicetai at gmail.com. Again, if you want a free tie, go to mynicetai.com and choose Trial Pay as your payment option. Trial Pay will give you that tie absolutely free.